Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to continue building the ultimate tsunami survival boat capable of withstanding the worst of the worst tsunamis and storms this game brings on. Let's get started here. In this video we're going to be adding a kitchen and more to the ultimate tsunami boat. So back here is where we're going to add the kitchen. So right here we're going to have some stove tops and some of that maybe some seating in here. So let's bring this back to the workbench and get started here. We need to put some kitchen stuff right here. We could have like a sink maybe even a washing machine like over here because we do need to wash our clothes and then over here over here we're going to leave room for a secret escape pod we'll do that in a whole new video and then up here we might build a gaming setup or down here it depends if we have enough room but yeah i'm going to save this and then we're going to get our prop pack so if i search a prop i actually get a whole bunch of props with this i'm not good at building like refrigerators and microwaves and stuff so let's see which prop here looks good enough for our boat it kind of feels like i'm going shopping at a store right now i don't know what to choose but i think we're going to do this one right here this is small compact and it looks like we can make ramen noodles on it so i'm going to go ahead and select it right here um it is xml a little bit as you can see it's like a little glitchy right here but that's fine all right i got it copied here let's go back to the boat and let's go ahead and spawn this in with it all right the boat's in we have to drag this inside of our boat hopefully it's not too big i don't i don't know if it is or not but here we go we're gonna spawn it in bring it to the ceiling um will this fit that is a question we got here let's go ahead and delete this i was just trying to show you guys what it'd kind of be like but yeah um i don't know if we should put this on the wall just in case it starts the fire on the wall so we'll just set it like right here in the middle for now maybe we could put like a table right there or a sink and it does fit perfectly that's absolutely awesome let's continue our shopping spree and i'm trying to figure out which sink to get we only want it to be probably like two blocks so it's gonna be this one or this one i think i don't know i think we're gonna do this sink right here it's honestly pretty small this one kind of looks like a bathroom sink i'm not gonna lie so we're definitely gonna use this one let's go ahead and copy it and we're gonna bring it back inside the boat all right we got the boat spawned in let's see if it will fit it definitely will but let's see how i should put it in here we're gonna put it in the corner here so now now we actually know what to put in this corner so how am i gonna rotate this i think i click i to rotate it but here we go i no that's like upside down we don't want that okay there we go that will work perfect like that and then we'll probably also bring this stove right here side by side with it just so we don't have any extra space we want it to be completely tight in this thing we don't want any extra room and then we want to merge it so if you don't merge it it will definitely slide around in this boat and then we had a little bit of extra room on that other side of the boat we're gonna grab this desk right here or this um cabinet so this should definitely work in the boat let's copy that cut it out and then once we get this all cut out we're gonna put a coffee maker right here and a microwave on it so that seems like a pretty nice setup you would have there let's go ahead and spawn it in drag it in here looking good all right let's see if it fits um put it right here okay there we go and then we actually still have some extra room but i don't think we'll need that maybe we could just have some extra room for some of the stuff we're going to do over there but we're going to merge that now put the coffee pots on top of it and yeah all right i copied both the coffee thing and the microwave at the same time for some reason but here we go i'm gonna go ahead and copy the coffee maker and then we're gonna plop this thing on the counter did we get all of it i think we did we're gonna set it up a single more block um i don't want it near the stove we'll probably put it like in the middle in the middle seems quite nice so we'll put it there then we need to grab the microwave here um i don't know where we're gonna put the microwave at maybe we could set it like right here and then right here we could have like a table or a chair i don't know we'll have to figure that out real quick let's copy this microwave over put it above there somewhere all right we're gonna set it like right about here that seems like a good place so i deleted the back part off the microwave i don't think we need it to be like that thick but here we go we're gonna back it up two more there we go and then we could probably put it like right i think right here actually would look a little better so we're gonna put it there and let's go ahead and look at the kitchen yeah it's looking quite nice in here i think we're gonna add a wall on this side right here so let's go ahead and do that i'll kind of show you guys what i mean so we're gonna do that i need to turn off these rotation labels all right rotation labels are off let's go ahead and rotate this the proper way there we go and then i think we'll have it maybe go up to the ceiling i don't know and then like that so then that looks quite nice there and then maybe we could have like a table or something here that would look quite nice um how should we block this off maybe we should just have a block like right here blocking it off i don't want it to be in the escape pod area if we do put anything back here there's a whole bunch of rooms so this better be like a pretty nice escape pod i don't know maybe we could have like this top part lift open and it would like shoot out of the top like a parachute or something i don't know that'd be a crazy build though but here we go we got done building that let's put that there and that there there we go and then we could put like a little chair here so let's go ahead grab some pipes 
and put some chair here. So let's do pipes. There we go. Put, and then we're going to put a seat here. So this should be a pretty nice thing we're doing here. There we go. Then you have some room to put your feet under the counter. And hopefully this chair doesn't get in the way of like the coffee and stuff. And then I made a little entrance door here for the escape hatch area. So what we're going to do is actually block it off with this. I was going to do an electric one, but I realized if we have an electrical failure, I do not want to be using anything electric. But yeah, we're going to have it open up this way so it doesn't like block off the path because it does go up here pretty drastically. Let's go ahead and fix that here a little bit so it doesn't go up so high in that amount of time. There we go. And then put that there and that there. I don't know if this will work. We'll have to spawn it in and test it. But yeah, and then we're going to block it off like that. So let's go ahead and spawn it in, see how it looks. I think it'll look pretty nice, but let's go ahead and check it out. I glitched inside of the boba. Here we go. This is the kitchen area. It's looking nice. We definitely need some lights in here. Let's see if we can actually climb up in the escape pod area. Perfect. I think we can. I don't know. We'll just have to figure out something in the escape pod video, what we'll do with this hatch. So I think a good color scheme would be orange for all the flooring. I don't know. It's kind of already orange in here and stuff. So might, we might just put it orange. It kind of looks like a more serious color. Yeah, we'll just do orange for flooring and then we have to do something with the walls in here so we'll probably put like some wood on this side we don't want to plain fill it we just did that on accident but we'll put some wood on here this will be a nice little wooden table we got going on here countertops will be a light gray color we don't want it to be too dark because we still want to be able to see them there we go countertops are complete and then I think we're going to paint all the walls this dark. So what we're actually going to do with the walls here is make it like brown on the first two layers. And then we'll fill it up with gray. I think that'll look good. We don't want it to all be the same color, of course. We just have to have some type of design at least. So there we go. We got that. And then I need to make it a slight darker gray than everything else here. I'll see you guys when I'm done coloring the walls. And we'll see if it looks good. All right, we kind of have an interesting color scheme going on here. I don't know if I'm a fan of the orange floor anymore. Just because um, it just really doesn't match anything. I'm going to go ahead and add some light for the kitchen because of course we need lighting in here so we're gonna put a light right there and i think maybe like right here so we'll, we'll have two lights in the kitchen nothing serious but let's grab a normal light make it white light so it's as bright as possible put a light there put a light on this side and make sure the color is fine on the top actually it is it didn't affect anything perfect and we need a breaker switch we'll just use this as a light switch even though it's a breaker so we'll put it right here this seems like a good spot for it let's put it there and then we'll put this as light and then we have to connect electrical so electrical b will go to the lights so when this is on it will activate electrical b and then we'll connect electrical a to the battery and there we go then the lights should work let's go ahead and test them out all right spawn it in go ahead and we're gonna test the lights here don't spawn in it oh we spawned it in. will it flip back over it will of course it will because it's a good boat here we go we're gonna spawn in it uh don't glitch it this time there we go perfect let's turn on the lights and will they work they do work great it's looking quite nice in here we should probably add some like decorations on the walls maybe like an anchor right here would be good um yeah let's do something like that we need to add paintings on these walls they, they are looking quite plain right now but let's go ahead and do that um we're back shopping again i think we're gonna use one of these rugs for the floor that looks quite nice honestly but we're probably gonna have to change the floor color if we use this because this is a pretty bright rug so let's copy that cut it out bring it back in the tsunami boat and put it in the floor where in the world is that there it is okay Drag it into the floor here. And I think right here might be a good spot. Maybe like, here, we'll put it like right where the kitchen area is at. Anything down here that we would be deleting? I don't think so. All right, paste it in and then merge it into the floor. So it's actually there. And there we go. We got a carpet now. We're going to replace this color with orange. So it should replace all the white on this with orange. Each one I click. So that's a nice little feature they added there. It's definitely helping this out. There we go. All right, should be looking nice like that. Perfect. We got a carpet in here, making it look more like home. We got a little palm tree painting in here. We actually have it in one of these cabins right here. Actually, this is the painting we're going to have in this kitchen here. So we're going to have two of these paintings. No big deal. It's perfectly fine. Put the painting there. All right. Perfect. Looking quite nice in here. Just from a painting, it put a lot more stuff on the wall, to be honest. And we're going to add something like this. I think this would. There we go. That looks nice. All right. Now we got some design going on in here. And then when you guys actually put something in the comments saying we should put a window here, like a little porthole for the crew members in their bed. So we're going to go ahead and do that for each and every one of these. There we go. All right. And then we need to grab a we need to grab a window. So it's going to have to be a little one by two. That will work. Perfect. Um, actually, before we do that, we're going to color the frames here. So let's go ahead, grab brush and completely outline these frames with a darker color. There we go. We got some framing going on. We have to do that to the other side. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Frames are looking good. Let's go ahead and put a window here and on this side. All right. We got some windows going on there so the crew members can see outside the boat. 
Um, these will most likely be underwater, but I honestly don't know. So there we go. Let's see how that looks. So we spawned it in. It's like bouncing in and out of the water. So yeah, I think it's going to stay underwater if it's like that. So let's go down here, check it out, see what it would look like if you're a crew member and turn on all the lights here. So basically you could just look through here and look at the water line. That's also pretty cool. Hopefully you don't see any sharks. All right. So I'd say we got a nice looking kitchen right here, but let's go ahead and make a table and we're going to put like a gaming laptop or a gaming desktop computer on it so let's put it like right here that seems like a good spot put some uh piping down for supports on the table of course and then we're gonna put more piping for some seating hopefully this doesn't get in the way if we need to like go in the escape pod really fast but i don't think it should I, yeah i think we could definitely go around that but yeah here we go we got our little setup here we'll put the you know we're gonna have to extend the table to the left here if we're trying to add like a desktop computer that's fine let's go ahead and do that all right and then we're gonna put the desktop computer on the way left side so we have enough room for like the monitor and stuff so we got that there that's our desktop computer all right and then we're gonna add windows to the side of the computer to make it look a bit more realistic there we go that's looking nice maybe we could add like a paintable sign right here to maybe add some blinking lights to it but i think that's fine for now let's go ahead and build the monitor here so let's grab a pipe let's grab a monitor here um maybe we could just use like this as the monitor you guys think that would look good honestly that doesn't look bad at all let's grab a paintable sign here and then we're gonna actually color a keyboard so all right and then we're gonna replace all of this with brown so it matches the same color as the desk there we go then we're gonna make a keyboard here so i don't even know we'll just do something like this here we go and then maybe it'll go down a little bit right here all right that's a good looking keyboard it looks perfectly fine there we go and then i don't know how we should do this but here we'll just color it all black and then we'll make like some lighter dots and it'll kind of look like the keypad so here we go this will be like the key binds and stuff and there we go we got the keyboard down that is actually not a bad looking keyboard let's go ahead and spawn this and look at our gaming setup we got going on in here um we're definitely gonna have to move this light here because it's kind of behind the computer but here we go we got our little gaming setup maybe we should make the monitor a little higher or the seat a little lower which one of the two I would say the monitor needs to be a little higher, right? So let's go delete the monitor, put it there. Um, maybe even put some piping here. And this will kind of look like an electrical pipe going to the computer there. And we're going to move this light switch here because it is like behind the computer. So let's delete this, copy it like that, and put it right in the wall there. We'll just jam it right in the wall right there. That'll work. And then we're going to delete that, put that there and color the sides, we don't want it to look like that. There we go, all right, now we got our working light switch and a computer that does not work yet, but we will have it probably working momentarily here. You know, I have a good idea. We could have this computer actually be like a security camera system for the entire boat. So we'll have a camera like right here we can do. This is the front, so this will be the front camera on the monitor. And yeah, we'll probably just have two cameras, so let's grab a video thing um i want a two-way video switch box here we go i already have it on workshop surprisingly spawn that in there grab some video so input one will be the reverse one input two will be the in front one and the output will be our monitor here so perfect and we actually need a button to activate this monitor so we'll just have a key button here so we'll just put a key button here for the monitor and all of its systems we'll do that and there we go all right, I added a switch video button. I know this would look good on like um, an instrument panel, but those are really confusing. I don't know how to use those. So we're just gonna do it like this for now. There we go, input. So it should all switch. We need to add electric to everything, okay? And let's go ahead and spawn this and see if this computer actually works. And it won't because the cameras don't have electricity. All right, infinite electric is on. Let's turn that off so this goes off. And then, yep, we got a working light. Go on our little gaming chair here. It's perfectly level. There we go. And there we go. This is a reverse upside down camera and then we have reverse camera here so we need to fix the front camera and we're gonna make the beds a different color we're gonna make them red this literally looks like a minecraft bed this is looking to look awesome honestly it just looks so cool but yeah we have our little kitchen done here maybe we could start on the bridge and decorate the bridge right now so i'm thinking we could add like a little storage area right here maybe just like some shelving it's not going to be anything too crazy so we got some shelving going on there just for some storage we'll add some equipment there and then i think i'm going to add a seat right here so this could be like a person that helps us navigate so a navigator and then maybe we should have someone like be our engineer or something like that i don't know because we do need to have access to this engine base still which I completely forgot to add, actually. But we'll do that once we make the escape pod so we know that we'll have room for the escape pod. And then we're going to go ahead and paint the bridge now. Now we're just going to do some quick painting here. 
fastest painting you have ever seen. All right, we got the bridge nice and painted. Now what we're gonna do is actually paint our control panel. This is important. We gotta have it look nice. There we go. And we gotta paint this stuff too. And then we need to add some more dials right there, but yeah. You got this painting all done. Everything's looking quite nice in this boat. Probably gonna be it for this video. Let me know in the comments right now what I should add to this boat. So yeah, I don't think I'm actually gonna add a stabilizer. I think it's honestly fine how it is. It can turn better without one. Stabilizers just kind of do a whole lot. So honestly, in that compartment down here, we'll probably just add a whole bunch of bilge pumps because we do have a whole bunch of open room down there. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.